Hey guys, it's Brian with Center Consoles Only. Now we're here at Fountain on their 38 tees, their tournament edition, and this guy is fully rigged to fish. You'll see this massive space here at the bow. I mean, you can get a team in here without a problem, tons of space. We'll start here at the, at the bow with the anchor locker, just very, very clean. No windlass on the tournament, just uh, set up for it, but not on this particular model. As we mentioned, tons of space here at the bow, no seating here. We walk back a bit and show you this incredibly large fish box. I mean, you can put any size fish in there without a problem. Move back a little bit. We've got dry storage on port and starboard sides as well. Two pretty large size boxes. And then we have a massive cooler underneath this lounger, which is divided. You guys can divide up your ice as necessary as well as what's in it. Got cup holders and rod holders lining this massive lounger. So you're gonna get out to your spot in comfort and with plenty of ice. Here we've got one of our fish boxes on both port and starboard sides at the midship. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this head in below the console. Plenty of space in there for a tall person. Pretty comfortable for the crew. Got rod holder storage on either side as well or a gaff as necessary. We've got raw water on the starboard side, fresh water on the port side, and again, way more storage. Yet another fish box there, insulated and macerated. We'll make it over to the helm real quick. At the helm, you'll notice the Bocatech switching, Garmin Electronics, Fusion sound system, and our Lavorsi tabs. This particular boat is outfitted with Mercury 300s, triple 300 V8s, so she runs extremely well. We'll go ahead and look at one creature comfort that I like very much. Storage space for your phone, keys, whatever else you have there. It's gonna keep it out of the weather and keep it safe. We look at the seating, you've got your standard leaning option and you've got your sitting option with the footrest. JL Audio sound system as well. Can't go wrong with that. As we move back, we'll look at the tackle storage. First off, we have a port and starboard tackle station. That is excellent for a tournament boat, but what would make it even better is if we had a rear-facing tackle station as well. Storage here, you've got a cutting station in a starboard variety, tons of rod holders. We look at the hard top, it is affixed to the leaning post in the rear as well. So you've got a super sturdy, very large hard top with plenty of rod storage. We make it to the back and you'll notice guys, you get that team out there, they're getting there in comfort and in style. Nobody's suffering on this one on the way out to the fishing grounds. Go ahead and get that out of the way, as well as multiple live wells, 55 gallons a piece, pressurized. They're gonna keep the bait happy. You guys are gonna be able to fish as much as you'd like. As we move to the transom, you'll notice tons of rod holders there, as well as that Mercury 300 VA power we talked about. It's gonna get you moving pretty quickly and again, get there safely. Guys, if you like this walkthrough of the Fountain 38TE, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram, at Center Consoles Only. Again, I'm Brian, and this was your four minute drill. Have a great day.